Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special video because I'm going to unbox Kitty Corner Francie Silk Stone Doll. Oh, I'm so excited. If you'd like to see how she's unboxed, please keep watching. <laughs> This doll has been on my wish list for quite some time and finally I managed to get a decent deal for her on eBay so I just knew I had to snatch her up and a few weeks later here she is I'm super excited for her friend I love Francie uh, she is one of my favorite characters she is actually the cousin of Barbie and she was first produced uh, around the early 60s. That face mold then was reused in this doll and in the series of these dolls on a silkstone body. I love silkstone, I love Frenzy, and I just knew that I had to get her. I will show you quickly how the box looks like from the front. So from the sides as well, this um, white and green pattern continues on both sides actually and here in the back we see short description of the doll how many dolls were made of her and the signature drawing of Robert Best that I think is uh, quite adorable so maybe even after I remove her I will be displaying the, the box like so because I think she looks really adorable on here. I will quickly read for you what it says on the back. So Francie Fairchild is Barbie doll's fun and fabulous cousin. Fresh as a daisy and fancy free. She's back again and she's looking sharp. Dressed in a bold 60s inspired shift she comes with a dreamy nighttime fashion perfect for cuddling up with her kitten slippers so her kitten is called slippers that's so cute her whimsical style returns modeled on a silk stone body so modern what a word play right and no more than 5600 worldwide Ooh. she is a gold label doll not for use with other fancy dolls i don't really know what that means so if you know what that means please let me know in the comments doll scent included and fashion designed exclusively for silkstone fancy doll body yes that's important to mention that fancy doesn't have the same body type as barbie she is more like little girl like like pre puberty like as in like 12 13 years old so uh, she will not have such big breasts and she will not have such a curvaceous body as barbie here we are this is her <laughs> I'm not sure she should come like this however there was no tape that would prevent the box from coming undone so I just slide it off like so, so let's continue opening her up first of all let's remove the inside of the box and flip her over nice here we are seeing the certificate of authenticity and then this is a kind of special care paper where it tells you how to clean your doll and how to keep her nice then we remove this and here at the back we see her stand and here we can try to untie these ties without completely messing it up i don't want to put her back in the box but who knows maybe it would be better to preserve it as nice as possible right i would have preferred if they did it with the nice ribbons and you just untie the ribbons so you can display our doll back again whenever you like i would have much more preferred that but uh, i guess they didn't adopt that style which is a shame because uh, 
it would preserve the box much nicer it would preserve everything just much much better it's it's not such a big of a problem but for example these things i'll never be able to put back the way they were okay so i think we are ready to cut the, this string i don't think there is any other way you can preserve the packaging but just cutting it all right so very gently let's flip her back and aha uh -huh, here as well on the bottom there are a few of these uh, plastic clips that i need to undo and here she is out of her box here as you can see here are the flat feet shoes here are the beautiful stockings the dress she has a hair net that we will now attempt to remove very gently we will try yes we managed oh look at this face how adorable she has fake eyelashes and she has this protective plastic by the ears which will prevent green ear however i'm most probably going to remove the earrings just to be sure and she has a rubber band in her hair i think it's supposed to be there so i'm gonna be uh, leaving it there then what i noticed is that her joints are <laughs> incredibly loose maybe that's how it should be but i don't know it's weird how she really has very loose legs and torso nevertheless here let's remove her tag and let's remove her dress to better take a look at her adorable body so as you can see indeed she definitely has a different body type from barbie however i have an old vintage frenzy that i am going to bring now and we are going to compare the two bodies she is uh, <laughs> a bit discolored here and there but uh, i hope you will still appreciate the comparison i just want to take off the stocking so we can take a better look at the feet too there are quite a few differences for example in their head francy has a different eye makeup eye color and eyelashes while our modern francy has bottom eyelashes as well blue eyes and a somewhat prettier face in my opinion then my 60s francy doesn't have earring the new francy does their chest appears to be quite similar however as we go down to the waist you can see a clear difference in the <laughs> waist area let's say it like that then the hands are very different not just because of the color and discoloration but also the silkstone francis hand is much more detailed and she has a wonderful manicure as well while our 60s francy has a somewhat more simple uh, shape to her hands as we go down you can see that the thickness of the legs are very similar and the feet are very similar as well which doll do you like more Tell me please in the comments if you like the Silkstone reproduction version or the original 60s version. I would be really curious to hear your opinion. And let's continue to remove the second outfit. Let's see what's inside the book. Ah, oh, and it's empty. That's what I expected the least, unfortunately. We removed everything, yay! Perfect, so let's put the box back and let's dress up my vintage Francie in the 60s outfit and kitty corner Francie in her nightgown. Oh, I'm so glad I have her in my collection. I'm gonna have so much fun dressing her up, taking her outside on photo shoots. Please definitely make sure to follow me on Instagram where I'm gonna be posting so many pictures of her in her different outfits and 
I'm gonna take her on spring photo shoots. So I'm absolutely looking forward. And finally, here we have the two Francis, my vintage one in the vintage 60s outfit and my silkstone one in her nightgown. I really hope you like this video of me unboxing this beautiful doll. I think I haven't seen such an unboxing on YouTube yet, so I really hope that you appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos. It would really help me a lot as I am new to YouTube, so your support is much appreciated. Please let me know in the comments what kind of videos you would like to see from me in the future. And yeah, thanks again. See you in my next video. Bye!